welcome back. Another Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch remastered. Let's play. Uh, let's get straight into it. Let's just go. Last we left off, I think we just got to Alma Moon. We defeated the the nightmare that was in Myrtle's uh, father, and then we repaired Myrtle's heart or Esther's heart with what Myrtle's courage? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we have a whole bunch of it looks like side quests to do. Um, yeah, it looks like quite a few actually. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I'm reading that right, let's just, um, yeah, side quest. Let's just do those. It'll soon be time for the Babana Bazaar. What shall I give from them, or what shall I give them this year? You sure look excited, sir. But of course I am, young man. The Babana Bazaar approaches, and I will soon have the inestimable pleasure of buying gifts for my dear grandchildren. Gee. How many grandchildren do you have? Let me see now. If we include those living in other towns across the land, it must be perhaps 30? Jeepers, creepers, that many? That's an awful lot of presents. That may be so, but for each, I am rewarded with the priceless smile of a child. And their happiness is my happiness. May the ancients watch over them. Crikey, a man's living a saint. A cr crikey, a man's a living saint. You don't see kindness like that in every century, let alone every day. Uh, sir, would you mind helping us out with something? It could save people in trouble. It could? It sure could. Please, say you'll help us. Very well, very well, since you ask so nicely. Thank you very much, sir. I need some of that kindness. There we are. Some kindness, and what is that? Is that courage? Oh, what a marvelous sensation. My heart, my very soul, overflows with warmth. Awesome. Okay, so it actually, I think the people in green are, um, are the people with like the pieces of the heart that I can take from. Uh, I'm just gonna skip through the whole dialogue. We're just gonna get straight to the point. Uh, Mamuni woman's husband left his lunch behind when he went out to forage for mushrooms. All right. We gotta bring his man his lunch. Whoa, is that the lunch? Holy. Man, I wish I could eat lunch like that. Holy smokes. Alright, what's this lady on about? Uh, an elderly merchant from Al Mamun is worried because her supply lines are coming under attack. Uh, agree to help save the merchant's problem. Yeah, sure. Bothersome boneheads. I got a feeling that it's those skeletons that we saw in the forest uh, in last episode. Hey, who's that kid over there talking to the pigeons? I think we've seen him before. Yeah, it's Horus. Um, there we go. Nice to see you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Fun? It was flipping boiling, man. Boiling for you, maybe, Pipsqueak. I'm a ghost, and ghosts don't feel that heat. So there! What are you doing here, Horus? I'm looking at these fountains. They're amazing. They squirt out milk. All the milk a boy could drink. They're what Almumun is famous for. But the spicy smell coming from that food stall is mixing with the smell of the milk. It's strange. <laughs> you think so? I kind of like it. Hey, there are still loads of spells you don't know yet, aren't there, Oliver? Well, I'm trying. It's just that my wizard's companion is kind of... Uh, most of the pages are missing. Missing? Oh yeah, I, I had to give you the page from Spirit Medium, didn't I? Uh-huh. 
When Mr. Droopy first gave it to me, the only spell inside was Gateway. Really? So the pages have been torn out? I bet it was that idiot Shadar's doing. Alright. I suppose it'd be better... I, I'd better help you fill it back up again, and I. Tidy? There's generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little midget after all. Well, I'm not just going to hand a load of pages over, if that's what you're thinking. Oliver will have to prove his wizarding comprehension skills first. The wizard's companion isn't just full of spells. There are also stories in there that were gathered by the sages over the centuries. But those have probably been torn out too. Stories are pretty powerful, after all. It might inspire people to stand up to him. Right. I'm gonna have to give you one to get you started. Have a read. It's one of my favorites. A New Tale of Wonder. Uh, did you read the story I gave you? Well, I hope you read it carefully because I've got a question for you. Ready? Mmm, nope. Okay. Uh, let's read it. Okay, I think it was the story about the... The Lion Prince. Oh my lord, I have to... I have to read it, okay. Uh, the story is the first tale of the Cowardly Prince and the Lion. And I'm trying to figure out who the smallest was out of them all, so I guess... We'll just skip to that immediately. Let's go. Is that the answer to this riddle, Prince Tamalo? There are quite a few characters in the story. Can you remember them all? Tell me, who was the third smallest out of the prince, the Lion King, the Dragon of the East, and the Dragon of the West? Oh, the third smallest? Okay, and there are one, two, three, four characters. Um, okay, it was a dragon that was that fought the other dragon, and then inside that dragon was a lion. So the Lion King was the smallest. Third smallest, do you mean like the second biggest? It's have been Dragon of the West. poison. Thanks, Horace. I suppose it was a bit mean giving you a question like that, but you worked it out eventually. That's what being a wizard is all about, learning to look carefully at every detail and understanding what's going on. Shut up with a wise old man talk, will ya? You're no flipping older than a little boy here. I'm not. No, I suppose I am. At least, I don't seem to be. What's that supposed to mean? It's strange. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something really, really important. Never mind. I can't believe how much this place has changed. I'm going to see if other towns around the world are as different as these days. I think I'll head somewhere with a bracing sea breeze next. I might not be able to feel the wind on my face, but I can still enjoy the view. See you soon. Sweet. We got a brand new page. Draw poison. Should be useful. Sweet, what's this? Ooh, it looks like stew. Curses. 
I like the necessary ingredients. What to do? A tiki masala. Nice. Oh, tiki mahala. Yeah, let's go. Let's go get it. Um. Cool. Poison be gone. What else is in this town, huh? I guess there's someone over on this side as well. Oh, and a chest. Fifty guilders. Sour Sunday. If I remember, Sunday isn't ice cream. And Monkey doesn't like that. A loaf of white bread. What's going on? Some lack in kindness. I got what you need, kid. Tamon. There we go. Another quest done. Ooh, two cups of strong coffee. Just gonna skip right on through it. This is a this is a what I like to call side quest episode. And so let's have a look at all of our missions here. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna show the active ones. Now it's a little bit easier to understand. Restore his enthusiasm and bring him to his senses. Oh, hey. I got that. Come on, man. You just began your travel. You got so much more to do. Ta-da! Sweet. Now I can take her enthusiasm. Oh yeah, then I gotta bring this lunch basket. You know, do I have to bring the lunch basket? Just eat it for myself. Who else in the city? Okay, there's someone. Okay, there's like three other things down here. Nice. We don't have any courage, so we can take that. I 
I'm so weary. Where's the fire I once had? It's lacking enthusiasm. Sweet. Cheek of Spice. Do I need the spices from this guy actually to finish that mission? I require a turmeric root and three generous pinches of spicy seeds. Okay, cool, cool. And then just, yeah, oh, that's a cat's cradle. We should go stay there. <laughs> Let's see what's bumping in the cat's cradle. Who's this guy? Okay. Looks like someone's lacking some courage. Don't worry, man. I've got a thing just for you. cat's cradle and then go out and do those missions Ooh, look how fancy this place is oh I think I can do blue chests too right and I've got just enough MP for the job okay a cup of strong coffee I don't think I've really ever used the items before Twenty guilders, Psh, nothing. I got like seventeen hundred of them. Cool. Perfect. New day. New start. New quests. Let's stop at the car master, maybe. Uh, maybe we shouldn't, because I last time we did a whole bunch of missions and we uh we ended up getting like all the items that the comm master was selling there. So I'm thinking maybe instead of spending a bunch of money and getting the items sooner and then using those to fight, we kind of just grind through the, uh, we grind through the fight, get the items and then save a little bit of extra money. Okay, husband's lunch basket and boneheads. Look at that. We got the great sage with us. We got the great sage's daughter and of course, Drippy. Esther, the purpose of this journey is to take the trials. You're not wrong, man. This ain't a flippin' day trip, you know. Get moving. All right, all right, lead the way. 
That's the spirit. Now then, let's... Hang on a minute. Did that send by there? Just move. It flipping dead bun. It's a monster, innit? Right, then, Nolly boy. Since you're going to be fighting with Esther from now on, I better teach you some new moves, innit? Ready, you two. Yes. Watch this! Now you and Esther can fight together, man. Double trouble. Tidy. Okay. Um, we can pick who leads the battle. Esther, leave it to me. Oh, cool. Now Esther's in charge instead, see? She's what's called the leader now. Okay. What can I do? Keep us healthy? Nothing. Oh no. Ooh. There's so much more going on now. Oh wow, these battles are hard. Maybe I should bring out the monkey. Monkeys like bananas. Oh my Esther! Get it now. Nice yeah, I think we leveled up. Ah, just mighty. Fine work, Oliver. Your magical abilities are indeed impressive. As is your repat report with your familiar daughter. Hee <laughs> hee. I do my best. You know, Oliver, I'd love to try fighting with your familiar sometime. Uh-huh. You can do that? Of course, all you need to do is switch your familiars around. Duh. Trust me, it's really easy. S select a familiar, press square, and then choose where you want it to go. All right. Do that and we can swap familiars. You know, I think I think we're gonna keep our familiar. Okay, yep. Yeah. Done with the chit chat. Let's look on the map. Where do we have to um Wasn't there anything that we had to do? I mean, what was the where was the lunch that we were supposed to take? Ask you to deliver her beloved's lunch basket. Deliver the lover's lunch basket to the Golden Grove. Oh man, I gotta cross the whole desert. Okay, and what was the other mission? How many? Defeat 10 of the boneheads. 10 of them. Okay. Ah, oh, hoping to sneak up on them. No smash it too. Oh, 
Oh, I think I leveled up. And some babanas. One down, nine to go. Oh, I guess I gotta. I should heal Esther. Maybe I should give the, the coffee to Esther too. see any other ones uh, maybe they'll spawn as we go oh yeah there's one over here thumbs up I got some chocolate. Bane flower. That sounds cool. Another one. Come on, give me two. Oh, it looks like a cheetah or a panther or something. Are we gonna get the sneak? Seven down, three to go. Look how pretty this place looks. There's something on the top of that hill. Back into the Golden Grove? Yeah, Golden Grove we go. Gotta deliver this man's launch. Okay, it's not terribly far into there. Is it just me or are the monsters back here looking a bit lively? Why? What's going on? Aha! Uh -huh. I know, man. They sniffed that lunch basket, ain't it? Proper weighted. Proper weighted their appetite, it has. 
Oh, jeepers. And I guess we'd better be we better be real careful. So the monster is a little bit more aggressive. Let's save. Let's take that as a warning and just save. Hey, I think that's our man. At Roma. Surely not. Could it be a lunch basket prepared by my darling wife? Wow, man. You've got quite the nose. Yeah, I brought it just for you, pal. Um, so now do I have to head back and actually tell her that it's done? Yeah, it's been delivered. So now we just gotta take out some more boneheads. Then we should be uh, crystal clear. Golden. Finished? Yeah. Ah, we made it out. over there but I feel like I should go back to over here Ooh, hey that's the exact monster that we need to slay surprise okay and then the other one's right here last one Sweet. So that is now done. Um, what other mission was there to do? Bonehead, the king of curries. I need some fluffy rice, tender beef, special spices. Um, I'm gonna look up what I need to get those special spices. I read I have to go 
I should go back into- oh my gosh, is he gonna get me? Whew. I bet I have to go back into Alma Moon, go to Swift Solutions, and then undertake one of the trials, or go and take one of the missions, and head back to Golden Grove, go to Old Smoky, which I think is- I'm guessing Old Smoky is like this giant volcano right there. And then I should be, should be good, good to go. If I have fluffy rice and meat in my bag. I don't know if I do though. Um, got a bunch of tickets. A familiar ticket that can be exchanged for a golden mite. Golden Drongo for a flutterby. Great Griffey, a Draggle, Golden Hurley. I don't know what I would use these for. Yeah, where's the Hootique? I don't think it's there, but there's the Swift Solutions right here. So we'll go into there, collect the mission, go to the Hootique, get the beef and rice. Stealing our babanas, it is the most frightful fleet of foot, so you do not let it escape. Summerlands, south of the Golden Golden Grove, and eastern shimmering sands. A lumberwood has appeared to the south of Golden Grove. Cool. Alright. And then next to the Hootique. Like he runs so fast. Excuse me, miss, but I need some some beef and some rice babanas cool um yep i think that's everything All right, off to, where do we want to go first? Let's go to Golden Grove again. Kind of redundant. All right, we're outside Golden Grove. Dodging these boars, give me one second. I think this is the monster that we're supposed to vanquish. He doesn't look that awful though. We can do this. Looks like a little shrub. Here goes. No fire damage probably messes him up. Does so much damage. Easy. Easy. Mm. 
Now to Old Smokey. Right, we're at the base hills of Old Smoky. Things are a little bit more scary. Oh, what the heck is this thing? Come on! Oh, it's kind of cool looking. I don't do a lot of damage at all. There's so much zero HP pickup shops that I or pickup orbs, so I think I'd level up. No, definitely not. I just had full HP, so guess I got nothing from it. How many pinches? How many pinches did you say I need? Three? Do you say three? Let me check. Yep. Three pinches. Can I come across here? This thing will drop it. Stay calm now. Here goes. I barely do any damage. what I need.
Nice work. Hope it drops those seeds. Okay, I just found out. I just read the little log. And I found out that you can't actually get it unless you finish the trials. I haven't even started the trials yet. So let's go back to Alma Moon, hand in these quests, and then uh, go to the trials. Back to Alma Moon. Let's hand in a few of these missions. Go tell that lady that we gave that guy's lunch. Take care of the bone heads. Ooh, a bone sword. What the heck? Cool. So then we only got those two, but those two are connected. Um, and then we actually have one more. And that was... It was the bounties. Yeah, the Babana thief. All right. Is that him? That's him. He's running around so fast. I need me some coffee. Did he just interrupt my special? Oh my lord. Ooh, 
I got him. Holy moly. Yeah, that pulse spell is kind of kind of strong, huh? I think I think it's strong because it like knocks them back. Okay, back to Alma Moon. Claim that bounty. That was actually a, kind of a tricky one. That was kind of hard. I had two people and I thought it was going to be kind of easier. But I think that might have been like a second evolution or something. And that was decently difficult. So I got three merit stamps. What do I want to do? Um, I forget what I said I wanted to do. Causes additional restorative glimpses to appear during battle. Makes it easier for you to sneak up on enemies from behind. Yeah, I think I wanted that one, actually. That one's not bad. I was gonna jump by pressing circle while running. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? You know, live a little. Okay. What other errands do I have? Okay, King of Curries. And that's all done. But I had I had special stuff. Let's go to the creature cage. Yeah, this guy likes chocolate. Let's feed him some chocolate. Here you go, little buddy. Can't be good for you now. He's, he's eating like seven chocolate bars. Yeah. All right, that's done. What does he like? Oh, he likes evasion. he like if I look at the base stats here it looks like magic attack is probably my go-to for him let's I'm gonna have a look really quick online to see what he likes likes cake How many cake hey I like that Ice cream. Okay, um, that's done. Ooh, Esther, you're not looking. You're not looking great. What does healing touch that? And then, um, 
Yeah, let's go to the Calm Master, actually. Let's go and see what the Calm Master's got for us. Fancy place you have here. Oh yeah, I got a bone sword, right? What am I doing? Plus 10 to my damage. Whoa. Cool. Actually, you know, I should take that away. Because she seems to use Drongo more, and I don't really use that guy a whole bunch. So I can give him the flame robes. Yeah, and I don't really use this guy a whole bunch. and healing tear. Yeah, it sounds about right to me. Everything seems cool here. Okay, let's um, let's buy some stuff now. Whoa. Okay, we already got the bone sword. Um, the flint spear. That's an actual spear that does mostly magic, or does mostly physical damage, so I don't think I should get it, to be honest. Because those guys do magic damage, right? Giant battle axe. Holy, these claws are crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy one. Then, oh my gosh, this armor is crazy looking too. Snake skin cloak, cool. Leather shield from a boy mighty. Put that on my monkey. That would just make him weaker, not make him stronger. Not by much though. Well, I guess it's a decent amount. All right, what kind of badges do we got? Plus two to defense, plus one to accuracy, plus one to movement. Prevents knockouts and HP are high. Okay. get two of these. Cool. Sell. These are equipped. Sell. Sell. Equipped. Equipped. Sell one of these. And everything else is equipped. Yeah, we're all good here. Excellente!
now. I'm just off to the uh, off to the middle of nowhere. We're going to um, the ruins, I think. Yeah, uh, that's what they're called. Yeah, that's where we're going right there. So it's been a pretty long episode. I think we're gonna cut it before we even get into the mountains, or before we get into the ruins. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of cutting in this video, a whole bunch of editing. If it comes out great, let me know in the comment section if, if it's kind of too much, or if I should change the style a little bit. Um, trying to remember, I'm still learning a whole bunch, so I'm just trying to figure out what's nice and what's what works well uh but i think we're gonna leave it off here for today's episode i'll pick it up again uh right outside the ruins uh in the next one you know thanks for watching um stay tuned peace out